take a look at this picture, a little girl and maybe her mom working on cleaning their car at home. It's maybe summertime, there's suds flying everywhere, water, it's all fun and games, right? If I were a bear and these suds were going into my streams and affecting the salmon that I wanted to be eating, I'd be getting angry. Here we see a bunch of high school students, maybe college students. They're probably doing a fundraiser. It's all fun and games, right? Now, what does this mean in actual terms? The City of Federal Way research has shown there are about 62,000 passenger cars and trucks. This is estimated that the home car washing leads to the annual release of the following toxins into the stormwater system. 190 gallons of gasoline, diesel, and motor oil. 400 pounds of phosphorus and nitrogen, 60 pounds of ammonia, 2,200 pounds of surficants, 3,000 pounds of solids. Imagine this on the bigger scale of the 300 million cars in North America. Roar! This brings me to Brown Bear Car Wash. In October of 2010, they formed a partnership with Cascade Water Alliance to create a project to retrofit some of their facilities. The goals were number one, to conserve water in tunnel car wash facilities. Number two, lots of water. Number three, lots. Number four, save salmon. Number five, save money. This is simply put as reclaim, filter, reuse. It started out in one pilot location in their Issaquah facility, their busiest car wash facility in the Brown Bear Company. Brown Bear is also the biggest car wash company in Washington State, so we can imagine how the start of one project can have a much larger impact. The retrofit cost $27,000. One of the first things it bought was a 305 M120 Series 90 GPM, or simply put, a filter that filters 90 gallons per minute, or 90 GPM. How this works is as the car enters the tunnel and the water starts going down each side of the car, rather than running off into the street into a storm drain into that Bears River, it goes to a reclaim tank to be pumped up through the filter and reused again. Reclaim, filter, reuse. Any extra water just goes back out into the regular sanitary system. What this resulted in, first they looked at it without the system, and it was 37 gallons of water used per car. With the system on, only 18 gallons per car, which is a 51.3% reduction in water use. This saved 3 million gallons per year. Wow. It did cost $27,000, though, so we wonder what was the return on the investment. It paid for itself in just four years. Now, it is installed in all of the Brown Bear facilities. Now let's look at this on a bigger scale. The International Car Wash Association, or the professional car wash industry. It has 2,000 member companies and 15,000 car wash locations, all around 20 countries. So we can imagine the ripple effect that this might have. They have a water savers program too. The criteria for membership and getting the benefits of being a member is to wash a car with less than 40 gallons. This compares to the 100 gallons that are often used at a home washing and the less than 20 gallons that Brown Bear uses. What we need to ask now is how does an amazing technology like this get spread out and get used throughout society? Here we look at the diffusion of innovation. We can see right away it's a bell curve that to reach critical mass, you have to climb that hill and get over the hump. We can start right at the corner with a small 2.5% of the population who are the innovators. They're the ones who say, I have this idea, here's this technology, we have this new system that's coming around. Next come the early adopters. They're the ones who say, show me. They're ready to learn and even willing to teach themselves. But before you get to critical mass, there's the next 78% of the population that consists of the early and late majority. And they say, teach me. They're willing to learn, but will need a little more encouragement and teaching to get there. 
Finally, there's only 16% of the population left, and they're the laggards, and they say, make me. But sadly, before we even get there, there's a giant chasm between the innovators and the early adopters, where many great ideas fall down to their deaths, sadly. But luckily, in this scenario, we had the partnership between Cascade Water Alliance and Brown Bear Car Wash, and now, it, because of this water system in all of Brown Bear's facilities, it's made a much greater impact, saving water, saving salmon, and saving money. Thank you.